Hello everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So in this video, I will be doing high yield review for pyridoxine and the pyridoxine is referred as vitamin B6. Now there are three forms of pyridoxine. So by pyridoxine itself, that is pyridoxine. Then we have pyridoxal, that is an aldehyde form and pyridoxamine and that is uh, amino form of pyridoxine. Whether it is pyridoxine, pyridoxal or pyridoxamine, so all of them in our body, so they will be converted into their active form and that is pyridoxal phosphate. So we simply refer that as PLP, pyridoxal phosphate. Now the pyridoxal phosphate, it is a coenzyme for variety of enzymes in our metabolism. Just to give some examples for enzymes which need pyridoxal phosphate that is PLP as a coenzyme. All decarboxylases, they all need pyridoxal phosphate. Decarboxylation reaction where the carbon dioxide is removed. So the examples, some of the examples for decarboxylases is like we have histidine decarboxylase. So conversion of histidine into histamine done by histidine decarboxylase enzyme. That needs pyridoxal phosphate. Then we have dopa decarboxylase. So dopa decarboxylase. So where it converts dopa into dopamine. So let me write that here. Dopa decarboxylase enzyme. Dopa decarboxylase converts dopa into dopamine. So that's a neurotransmitter. So that needs pyridoxal phosphate. Then we have glutamate decarboxylase enzyme which converts glutamate into GABA, gamma amino butyric acid. That is a decarboxylase which needs pyridoxal phosphate. So the synthesis of neurotransmitters from amino acids. So they need pyridoxal phosphate. Another enzyme which general enzyme which needs pyridoxal phosphate is all transaminases, transaminase enzyme, all transaminases, one of the transaminase example is ALT, alanine transaminase, then we have AST, aspartate transaminase. So whether it is alanine transaminase, aspartate transaminase or any other amino acid transaminases, so they all need pyridoxal phosphate as a coenzyme. Other enzyme uh, that needs pyridoxal phosphate is ala synthase, that is amino levulinic acid synthase, which is a very first enzyme in heme synthesis. That is, it helps in the conversion of delta amino levulinic. So basically, it combines succinyl CoA with the glycine to make delta amino levulinic acid, done by delta amino levulinic acid synthase, and that needs pyridoxal phosphate. Now another enzyme that needs pyridoxal phosphate is cystathionine beta synthase. Cystathionine beta synthase, it converts homocysteine into cystathionine, thereby it decreases homocysteine levels in the body. So that needs pyridoxal phosphate. So these are some of the examples of enzymes involved in metabolism that needs vitamin B6 active form pyridoxal phosphate. Now let's move on to see causes for a deficiency of vitamin B6 that is pyridoxal phosphate. One of the causes that can you can put it to uh, most of the water soluble vitamins is chronic alcohol consumption. So whenever the alcohol is consumed it is metabolized to acetaldehyde. Note that acetaldehyde is a toxic molecule, so what it does, it's going to interfere with the enzymes that are bound with pyridoxal phosphate and it's going to release pyridoxal phosphate from the enzyme binding site. Thereby pyridoxal phosphate, it will be degraded rapidly. That's the cause for vitamin B6 deficiency in chronic alcohol intake. Another cause that leads to vitamin B6 deficiency is isoniazid therapy for tuberculosis. Isoniazid is referred as INH. INH basically it interacts with pyridoxal phosphate and make it, uh, it converts that into inactive derivative. Thereby 
pyridoxal phosphate is not available for enzyme so isoniazid therapy will place put a patient at risk of vitamin b6 deficiency in tuberculosis or wherever isoniazid is used now oral contraceptive pills and increased drug detoxification process will increase the demand for vitamin b6 and if the vitamin b6 are not supplemented so that can lead to vitamin b6 deficiency pregnancy is another cause for vitamin b6 deficiency because of the increased demand and also infants born to peridoxin deficient mother can have vitamin b6 deficiency because it is understandable that mother is deficient in vitamin b6 so accordingly the child will be having deficiency of vitamin b6 now let's move on to see deficiency manifestations that occur with vitamin b6 note that deficiency manifestations with vitamin b6 signs are non specific so unlike any other vitamin water soluble vitamins where there is a specific disorder or a named disorder is present but here vitamin b6 deficiency since it is needed by so many variety of enzymes across the metabolic pathways so the signs and symptoms collectively we need to look for to diagnose vitamin b6 deficiency one of the most common sign that is associated with vitamin b6 deficiency is polyneuropathy so polyneuropathy so basically it can manifest as like decreased sensation in the lower limbs or in the limbs so where there will be pins and needles sensation so decreased sensation to uh, temperature it decreased sensation to touch that kind of signs can be seen and also decreased refluxes can be seen that can be a sign of vitamin b6 deficiency that is polyneuropathy here polyneuritis polyneuropathy signs one of the sign of vitamin b6 deficiency patient may have convulsions depression confusion that's all because of alteration in the neurotransmitter synthesis because as we have seen in the previous slide that majority of neurotransmitters coming from amino acids especially they need pyridoxal phosphate because the decarboxylases needs pyridoxal phosphate so deficiency of or defect in the synthesis of these neurotransmitters can lead to central nervous system signs convulsions depression and confusion now the microcytic hypochromic anemia can be seen in pyridoxal phosphate deficiency and that's because of decreased activity of ala synthase enzyme that is delta amino lavulinic acid synthase rate limiting enzyme and rate determining enzyme for heme synthesis needs pyridoxal phosphate so in the deficiency of pyridoxal phosphate delta amino lavulinic acid is decreased so thereby heme synthesis decrease it means hemoglobin synthesis is decreased so that can lead to microcytic hypochromic anemia picture in b6 deficiency now the patients with uh, b6 deficiency can have homocysteinemia and that's because cystathionin beta synthase enzyme which needs pyridoxal phosphate as a coenzyme is decreased its activity because of this conversion of homocystein into cystathionin decreases so that leads to elevation of homocystein in the blood and this homocystein it will interfere with the collagen laid down in the blood vessel and that can lead to accelerated atherogenesis thrombosis process and all that so homocysteinemia can lead to risk of myocardial infarction and other cardiovascular events in vitamin b6 deficient patients so these are some of the signs that you are need, that you are going to see in vitamin b6 deficiency now let's move on to see some of the diseases where pyridoxin supplementation is beneficial so one such disease is sideroblastic anemia so that is x linked sideroblastic anemia so sideroblastic anemia is because of deficiency of delta amino lavulinic acid synthase as you all know delta amino lavulinic acid synthase needs pyridoxal phosphate as a coenzyme so supplementation of pyridoxin here could prove beneficial in sideroblastic anemia so other disease where vitamin b6 uh, supplementation could prove beneficial is cystathionin beta synthase deficiency so 
decreased activity of this enzyme here so if you supplement pyridoxine so it could improve the enzyme activity carpal tunnel syndrome where pyridoxine supplementation is proved beneficial and convulsions of unknown etiology can also prove like it can prove beneficial if you provide pyridoxine and that has been done so these are some of the disorders where pyridoxine supplementation is proved beneficial so this is all about pyridoxine that is vitamin b6 a high yield review i hope this review has helped you thanks for watching as always and i will see you in uh, some other video till then take care